Rub-A-Dub Subs, it's a Black Metal Werewolf here. I am making my Q&A video today, so I just wanted to say thank you for everybody who did send me questions. Unfortunately, I got so many that I can't answer them all. I didn't expect to get as nearly as many as I did, but, uh, you know, I picked out a lot of them. Uh, a lot of times I get general questions, people asking the same thing, so I try to pick a lot of those to broaden it so I can answer a lot more than one question at once. And um, just wanted to let everybody know that I got some really good questions that I'm actually turning into videos later because the, it's a question I never even thought about, but it made me think that there's enough material here that I can make a full video out of it. So uh, just because I didn't ask your question in a video doesn't mean I didn't read it or whatever. I did read it, and some of them were just so great, I'm turning them into their own videos. So thank you very much. And also just wanted to say thank you very much uh, for subscribing to me and uh, following me on Instagram. When I started any of this, I never expected to uh, get nearly as many subscribers as I did, and it's continuously growing every single day. Uh, so once again, you, you guys rock. Thank you so much for uh, supporting me and doing this. Didn't expect this to take off the way it did. I was expecting to get like 20 subscribers, and that's it. But now I have almost 30, uh, almost 3,600 uh, subscribers and almost 20,000 uh, followers on Instagram. So, you know, thanks a lot, guys. You guys fucking rule. So let's get down to the actual question, shall we? Question number one. How much would you pay for a good concert? And would you come to the U.S. for a concert or another country? I think the amount, uh, the most I'm willing to pay for a concert would be like a hundred bucks. And that's if it was like a VIP thing, you know, like if I got to meet the band and take pictures with them. I'm not doing this whole, you know, oh, $200 ticket for Marilyn Manson and Slipknot. Fuck that. I'm not paying $200 just to see two bands. When I saw Abbott, there were four bands there and that cost me $35. So uh, that's how much I would pay for a concert. Um, and the second part of that question, would you come to the U.S. for a concert or another country? Uh, I would if I had the funds to do so. If I had, uh, if, you know, this YouTube thing ever takes off and I'm, like, making a shit ton of money off of it, and uh, it's my main source of income, then I probably would go to, like, festivals in Europe and the United States and stuff uh, just to experience the whole thing, you know? So hopefully one day that would be the case. Probably won't be, but, you know, fingers crossed. Uh, question number two. What, what's your dream uh, when it comes to metal? Uh when it, uh, my dreams when it comes to metal, I think it was to just keep things harder, darker, faster. I just want things to get more extreme and more heavy and, you know, darker. I don't want, you know, uh, heavy metal turning into some pussy genre like what happened to rock music, you know, where everyone's just whining about their feelings. I want, like, good, tough, dark, heavy metal. That's my dreams for it. Uh, next question. What's your honest opinion about weed? Uh, I do not smoke weed. I can't stand the smell of it. I don't want that smell on me or in my apartment. However, I do not have an issue with someone uh, doing it themselves. If that's uh, what they want to do with their time and money, go for it. I don't give a shit. People have sympathy for heroin addicts and alcoholics. I certainly can't uh, get pissed at someone for lighting up a joint or whatever. As long as, you know, they're not some, like, welfare recipient who's using government money to get high. Uh, that pisses me off. But that's not just weed. That's any drug or substance. When someone takes uh, taxpayer money just so they can get high or drunk or whatever, you know, that pisses me off. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, what is one band you've always wanted to see but can't? Death. I wanted to see Death, but Chuck is dead. So I'll never get to see Death. Um, Lordy is another band I really want to see. Uh, I don't think they've ever come to Canada, but if they do, God, I hope I can see Lordy. Same with Sabotage. I know they took a very, very long break from touring with the Death in the band, and they didn't do so well after that. So hopefully uh, one day I'll get to see Sabotage as well. Uh, next question. Are you into horror movies? If so, what are some of your favorites? Um, I do really like horror movies. Uh, my favorite types of horror movies would be like 80s horror movies and the universal classics. Um, some of my favorites would be uh, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Invisible Man, The Wolf Man, uh, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. That's probably my favorite horror movie, science fiction movie. Um, Reanimator is really good. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Those movies fucking rocked. Uh, the Fly with uh, Jeff Goldblum in it. That was really good. Uh, Cronenberg movies. Cronenberg always makes fucking awesome movies. So yeah, those are some of my favorite horror, horror movies. I'm a big fan of uh, uh, practical effects. So all the gooey, gross stuff, you know? Uh, are you in a band? If so, what do you play? Uh, I've gotten this question a lot if I'm in a band. Or what band are you in? Or is this guy in a band or something? Um, unfortunately, I'm not in a band for a few reasons. First of all, I don't have any fucking talent. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to play guitar but it's slow going. Uh, I would love to learn how to do guttural vocals. But once again, just because how shitty my job is, like my schedule is never consistent. 
So I can never really have a consistent time where I can sit down and play my guitar or learn how to sing properly. Uh, hopefully one day that will change and I will have a lot more time on my hands where I can learn these, uh, spend the time to gain the skills that I need to be a part of these kind of things. Uh, another reason why I'm not in a band is because I'm extremely hard-headed and very difficult to work with. And I know a lot of people in heavy metal uh, have very big, strong personalities. And if I were to start a band, I think it would just end up with uh, me and someone or other guys just end up butting heads because if I'm in a band, things are I want things to go my way because I have a vision of what I want. And uh, if things aren't going my way, then I'm not going to be happy. And it, there's going to be a lot of friction between me and the other band members if things if we can't agree on something, right? So I need to find guys that uh, share my vision or girls or whatever, you know, people who will share my vision and understand what we're all working towards. So that's why I'm not in a band. <laughs> Um, what do your, ther uh, what do your parents think about the way you look and about your music? Um, my, one of the first things anytime I see my parents is my dad always says, when are you going to get a haircut and shave that damn thing off your chin? The thing is that uh, when my dad was my age, he looked exactly like me. He had long hair. He listened to, you know, heavy metal at the time. He listened to Judas Priest, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath. Um, so it uh, kind of pisses me off that he doesn't, he's always on my ass about the way I look when he looked exactly like me at this age. So I think that's ridiculous. I know my mom doesn't like it anytime I see my parents. I'm like, oh, McLean, put on a sleeve t-shirt or something. But my parents live like six hours away, so I don't see them that often. But whenever I do see them, you know. Um, my dad does, he likes, my dad, like I said, he likes Ozzy and Judas Priest and stuff like that. But he doesn't understand like black metal or, or death metal or anything like that. So he doesn't, uh, he doesn't, he gets some of it, but not all of it, you know. Next question. Uh, do you listen to any sort of punk, or are you just metal? Uh, I've tried listening to punk so many times in the past, but I just can't get into it. Uh, I bought a, a Misfits album. Didn't like it. I thought it was terrible. I bought a Ramones album. Thought it was terrible. I, and every time I try to give these bands a try, I just... Maybe I'm listening to the wrong ones. I don't know. But everyone talks about like, how those are the greatest ones, so I listen to them, and I just... I don't get it. It doesn't uh, do anything for me. Uh, if you never discovered metal, what do you, what kind of music do you think you would listen to, and why? That's a really good question, because I was actually thinking about this the other day. And uh, when I was a little kid, my friends would listen to, like, country music and rap music. And, like, they would always show me these songs, and I never... It never did anything for me. I never really got into music until I finally heard something really heavy. So I think maybe if I never discovered heavy metal, maybe I'd be like one of those really weird people that'd be like, you know, I don't really like music. But no, uh, thankfully I did discover heavy metal, but I honestly cannot imagine what I would listen to if I didn't discover metal. Because I listened to other bands before I found, like other types of music before I found metal. And I, it's nothing that I would sit down and buy music for or go to concerts. So it's a very Twilight Zone question. I don't like to think about because it it's very disturbing to me. I can't imagine my life without it. <laughs> um, what uh, What are your hobbies aside from listening to metal? Uh, I write song lyrics. Uh, I used to play video games a lot more, but once again, because of how hectic my job is, uh, I don't have time to play video games anymore. Maybe like two or three hours a week is pretty much my tops for video games. Uh, I used to draw. I don't really draw anymore. And of course, I make videos. I like to go for walks at night. Just get some exercise. I work out a bit. Those are pretty much my hobbies. Writing song lyrics, making videos, work, and exercising a bit, you know. Um, what are some of the next tattoos that you want to get? Uh, my next tattoo, I want to get the Flying Hellfish uh, from The Simpsons on my arm. Uh, I asked one of my uh, Instagram followers to design me a ram skull, because I want to get a ram skull tattooed on my chest. And she's doing a really good job. She's not done it yet, but uh, what she's showing me is really, really badass. And... From what she showed me, that is something I want tattooed on my body because it's really cool. Um, uh, I also want to get an Iron Maiden tattoo. I uh, get my favorite Iron Maiden album cover tattooed on my body somewhere. That would be really cool. Uh, I also want to get a werewolf someday. I don't know where I'm going to get it, but I want to get a werewolf tattooed on my body because I think werewolves are really cool. Uh, CDs or vinyls, which do you prefer? I prefer CDs. I find them a bit more convenient than vinyls. Uh, it's easier to find CDs. Uh, CDs are a bit cheaper. And um, I don't have a record player, so if I did buy vinyls, you know, what the hell would I play it on? So I think uh, I go with CDs because it's the same music, it's just more convenient. So that's why I go with CDs instead of vinyls. If I had a record player, I'm sure I would get more vinyls, but then I'd be buying 
you know, vinyls of albums I already have, so I don't want to start wasting money on music I already own, you know. And uh, my final question for today, have you considered collaborating with any other YouTubers? Uh, it's not something I even thought about until I got asked this question, and um, I'm open to the idea, but I can't imagine who the hell I would collaborate with. I haven't really watched uh, a lot of other metal YouTubers, but the ones I have watched are much bigger than I am. Uh, so I can't imagine them wanting to collaborate with someone who only has like 3,000 subscribers. And uh, that's the thing, because I can't imagine who else I would collaborate with. If I'm not going to collaborate with a metal YouTuber, who the hell am I going to collaborate with? You know, I'm not going to collaborate with a, a gaming channel or a reaction channel because I have nothing to nothing of value to put in to collaborating with them. And so there's no point in me doing it unless I can... Uh, there's some other, you know, heavy metal YouTuber that wants to collaborate with me. I'd, I'd definitely consider it. Why the hell not, you know? So, yeah. That is today's q and I will be doing more Q&As since I got so many more, so many questions that can be answered, but I didn't want to make this video too long. And like I said, some of the questions I got asked are being made into their very own videos. So once again, thank you so much guys for asking these questions. If it wasn't for you guys, this video wouldn't even exist. You guys fucking rock. So that's it for today's video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of my past videos as well. Uh, also, don't forget to comment uh, and tell me what you think of today's topic. I try to read them all and I even try to respond to as many as I can as well. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll be throwing that in the description section as always. Once again, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Black Metal Werewolf. Stay brutal.